Hi, this is Whitfield Harrington. I, I have the gift of interpreting dreams, and in this particular video, I'm going to be explaining to you what it means when you dream about snakes, and I'm going to take actual dreams and show you how to decipher those dreams when you dream about snakes. First thing I want to remind you is that whenever you dream about snakes, it means that you're interacting with an individual or a group of people that cannot be trusted. And if it's one snake, it's referring to one person. If it's multiple snakes, it's referring to a group of people or an organization. Um, normally, there's going to be something about the snake within the dream, whether it's the color, the action or the location of the snake that's telling you what it's referring to or who it's referring to in real life. And you normally have these particular dreams right when you begin interacting with the snake or snakes or right before the snake is about to strike and cause harm in your life. And the last thing you want to do or the last tip is you avoid dealing with these people altogether because they can't be trusted. Now, I'm gonna go through a couple dreams that I've had myself and some that um, a few people asked me to interpret. The first thing I wanna do is to show you how these dreams um, come about or when they show up. I recall um, a few years back, I was offered a position to be a musician, I'm a musician as well, to um, be a minister of music at a particular church. And I wasn't really sure about it. And I told the particular pastor that I would, you know, get back with him, pray about it, get back with him. That night, I went to bed that night. And I had a dream, I saw a black snake that was in a ditch and it had a pile of dead grass on top of it and it had a blanket on top of the grass and I could see the snake hiding underneath the grass and that was the entire dream and when I woke up I started laughing because I saw the humor in the dream this time. It was so clear to me what it meant. Well, here's the thing. The individual that I was concerned about in real life was a very dark complexion person. So I knew the color of the snake being extremely dark was referring to this person. But what about the dead grass and the blanket and the ditch? Because those were the only things that were in the dream. Well, Think about it. This is a snake. It's underneath grass, which is under a blanket. The dream meant that this individual is an undercover snake in the grass. Don't deal with it. And you can see how I took all of those symbols, which was, I said to myself, a blanket, but some of us call it cover. So the grass was under the cover and the snake was in the grass. So it was an undercover snake in the grass. And that's one of the ways that you can pull out the meaning of a dream about snakes. Here is another one. I recall being offered a position with a company that was going to require me to have to spend a lot of money. And being that it required such a large investment on my part, I decided that I would wait a few days to make my decision about it. About a night or two later, I had a dream and all I saw was a brown snake. Nothing else, just a brown snake. So I'm puzzled. I'm trying to figure out, brown snake, what does that mean? So the only thing I could go off of was brown, brown, brown. Well, it turns out, the individual who was trying to get me to make this investment last name was Brown. So I immediately put the two together and I did not go with that business deal. 
So those are two examples of the way you pull the meaning out of dreams about snakes. Here's another example. This is one from a young lady I recall giving her an explanation over the internet. She said she kept seeing about four snakes around her in multiple dreams and they were around her car for some particular reason and I began to converse back and forth with her trying to get more out of it but she never would just give me the entire details of it but based on what I've been teaching you it means you're interacting with someone you think you could trust but in reality you can't so as it turns out she had taken in a new group of associates which were all males and a few days later her car was broken into a lot of things were taken from her car as well as her radio and it was obvious that these four young men were the ones that had stolen from her and see she got the warning but she didn't act on it the snakes in the dream were around her car which was showing that these gentlemen or these young men are looking at your car and they're about to do something damaging to you now the final one I want to talk about is one that I actually came across on the internet where this particular lady was giving the description of how she was near the ocean or near a river and she could see the water flowing by and there were a lot of people around her and it wasn't really bothering her and she was very calm then all of a sudden she saw her daughter in a situation where there were a lot of snakes around her and she wanted to kind of help her daughter but she really didn't know what to do about it now I was unable to get in touch with that person but here's what the dream is saying the dream is saying that your daughter is in an organization that you think you can put your trust in but in reality you can't and in a situation such as that it could be as much as a daycare center or it could be as much as a church or a community group that you think your child is safe in but the dream serves as a warning that these people or this person is a snake and that person cannot be trusted so you have to know how to decipher that dream based on the way the snake is presented in the dream i hope you enjoyed this teaching about snakes and dreams and you certainly should have gotten something out of it that enables you to pretty much pick apart any dream now that you have about snakes and if you haven't subscribed to my youtube channel i ask that you do so as well you can subscribe to get more updates of teaching like this from different types of dreams as they come along thank you again for watching and i hope to see you in the next video